I'm Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, we're coming here with a product. This is Mini Rig. You can go to the website at minirigs.co.uk. And uh, they sent us two of their Mini Rig Bluetooth units and a subwoofer that goes with it. Uh, as we get into this, let's talk about what we think about the product because uh, – um, our evaluation probably needs to come at the forefront of this video. Uh, we weren't impressed with the product. Um, it does have a great sound on one of the speakers if you can get one of them to work for you through Bluetooth. Uh, it does sound great. But the problem is, is the intuitive uh, lack of build into the product and a few things. So let's get into it, what we found. Uh, now, technically, you should be able to daisy chain these together. They said they daisy chained up to 150 of them. You should be able to set up uh, one of the speakers as a left speaker and the other as a right and use the subwoofer. Uh, it's an incredibly non-intuitive process. In fact, we had such a hard time trying to figure it out we had to ask for instructions. Instructions we sent were, that sent us were wrong. We actually had to get on a Skype call with the technician to figure out how to get these things to work. After the Skype call, when we finally got everything working and powered on, uh, within seconds of playing the Bluetooth on the units, the Bluetooth fired it out through the configuration and we couldn't get it to play after that. Uh, product is a complete fail in our minds when it comes down to it can't recommend that anyone want to pay for these, especially when you're looking at upwards of $500 for this unit. Uh, there's certainly a lot of other better units that are on the market you could buy for much less money, um, probably for much better quality. Uh, some other problems we had is there's a plug system on the back that's a low gain, high gain, and a power button. And you're supposed to somehow know which way to use the high gain and low gain. It's not explained. There's no um, label on the back of the units to understand what it's about. Uh, the instructions are fairly vague. Uh, and for someone like us who are professionals at understanding anything we see and in intuitiveness, uh, we were just lost to miss. I mean, like I said, we finally had to get a Skype call in. Uh, the buttons that they use for the pairing, the power on and power off, you have to have a pretty good, huge nail or fingernail or something to press on to it. Uh, it's very temperamental. You have to press it just the right way and just with the stutter of buttons to get them to pair. Um, very irritating, non-intuitive, um, insane process. I mean, I, I don't know who came up with the uh, intuitive process by which these power on and by which they're used, but uh, they did just a horrible job. I mean, we've we review Bluetooth speakers for five, four or five years now, and we've just never seen anything so abysmal, so lost, or so um, confusing to be able to use. And even for us, uh, we were just lost in it. Uh, anyway, you're welcome to check out their website and their product. Uh, once again, I, I can't recommend it. Uh, it just was a nightmare for us to try and even use, and we couldn't get it to use. Uh, on our systems. The app is really awful too, I should mention. With the app, it doesn't run your sound. You basically, well, it does run your sound, but what you have to do is you have to start another app like your Spotify app or, you know, your Google Play app or something. And then you have to let the app from them run that app. So it's really confusing. The app is irritating and non-intuitive as well. You can't figure out what it's 2.1, 2.2, all the stuff that's going on. So, um, you know, you may want to check out the product. And if you feel that, uh, you know, you've got something you might enjoy there, go ahead, check it out. You can go to the website. Um, I highly recommend <laughs> that you don't. And we can't recommend this product in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's a complete fail in our minds. Uh, and I don't know how intuitively any consumer could enjoy this product. So there you have it. Thanks for coming by. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us. We'll see you next time.